Hello, I'm Trevor Boria. Station ears today. Ice melts in a vacuum when the sun hits it. I don't know how realistic that is because I've never had ice in a vacuum chamber. We've constructed a simple way to keep the ice from melting and stop the water from turning into a vapor. I think. So this chamber is going to be a giant fridge and that chamber is going to simulate being inside a base. Why didn't I just build it inside the base? I don't know. We're going to use this fan to suck all the air to that chamber. Then we're going to fill it with this carbon dioxide. Where did I get the carbon dioxide from? I pulled it right out of the air. You want to talk about AC real quick? This is an air conditioner. You can find it in atmospherics, which we printed with the hydraulic pipe bender. So I guess we bent it then. Gases will go in this side and come out this side at a different temperature. This is a coolant pipe. It goes to a rad and I filled it with carbon dioxide. But we also have this little valve. It's a back pressure valve because that was a full coolant tank. If the coolant got hot enough, it could expand to the point of rupturing the pipe. This back pressure valve will stop that, which I've set at 5,000. We're going to hook some chutes up to the ice crusher with a little window and an inlet outside the chamber. Now that we've sealed up the chamber, we're going to vent all the atmosphere out of it. We're going to use our atmospheric analyzer on this pipe to know when it's a vacuum. Same thing over here on this chamber. Glass, vent, measure, meter, monitor. <laughs> now that this chamber is a vacuum, we're going to fill it with our carbon dioxide and we're only going to fill it to 25 kilopascals. And we're going to do the same thing to this chamber. Again, just to the 25 kilopascals. What? <laughs> oh, this chamber exploded. Because over here on this chamber, we have a pressure regulator. But up here above this chamber, I installed a back pressure regulator because I am an idiot. This chamber is now filled with the CO2. So we're just going to do this, which is going to pump that CO2 into the AC unit for coolant. And I'm not worried about a back pressure regulator there. So I installed a back pressure regulator. A pipe exploded. It wasn't very interesting. I was hoping for... Doesn't matter. Let's go. We also redid the chute. I mean, you can pack as much in there as you want. This is just a small scale for informational, educational purposes. This is not a tutorial. Now that we have the correct pressure in this chamber, we're going to cool it to minus 10 Celsius, which I should stay frozen at. And I'm going to use this little chunk of pipe to monitor what's going on inside. This chamber over here, we're going to heat to 25 degrees Celsius. We're adding the ice and we're just going to monitor it for a second and make sure that the system's actually working. The ice isn't melting, but the ice crusher is off and we're going to deal with that now. We've tied into the logic and the power on it. We've also hooked up to the logic output on our storage tank for the water. And we've hooked them both up to this circuit. The same circuit I build for everything. Logic reader, logic writer, compare unit, memory. Logic reader in is that tank we hooked up to, and the variable is volume of liquid. Logic writer in is compare unit. It will be the ice crusher. Variable is on. Compare unit one is logic reader. Out is less, and two is memory. As for the memory, right now we've just set it to 100. For test purposes. This will work. Tanks at 100, ice crusher shut off. Ta-da! I've bumped it up to 250 because I want to get water vapor in the pipe so we can test this thing, which is called a purge valve. The radiator is keeping the phase of the water something. I don't know. Why can't I make water vapor? I guess the trick to keeping your water from changing into ice or vapor is to just have a rad in a heated area. But... I'm going to force it to make vapor so we can test the purge valve. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I cannot get the phase to change. It's just stable. It won't vaporize. I don't know. That's the end of today's video. All you need is a rad. We stored ice. We set up an AC. I don't know. It's not that difficult. Maybe it helps somebody. I hope it did. This video was short. I'm playing Starfield. There might be a video about it. You have a good day. Thank you for watching. Not all gamers are pro.